Good morning. Today is May 3rd and we finally passed the uh, danger frost. And I want to show a little bit here in my garden to see what are in bloom right now. Actually, I don't have much uh, blooming except the uh, uh, spring bulbs. Um, the uh, hyacinth here and that I planted uh, in the fall along with uh, some tulips here. Actually, a lot of tulips, but I lost them to do, um, over the winter uh, damage because of the, some wild animal that ate them. But I still have some uh, came up, but um, they still got chewed up by probably rabbit um, as you can see here uh, here see so I don't think I have tulips this year and probably I'm not gonna grow tulips anymore because uh, see you can see they passing by see the deers um, because of um, the deers and rabbit uh, will eat them um, I got here some cockroaches and uh, here the yellow one right there um, and I just uh, planted some salvia and lavender in and the marigold um, so that's it about this corner and um, and here too. I got the side garden here in my front yard, and I got the uh, dripped uh, rose. The, this one is a uh, popcorn dripped rose. Um, I just planted here uh, and some marigold I planted along with the uh, um, salvia um, yeah I got some tulip came through but I don't know if they will have flowers but um, I got some daffodil planted in the fall too and they are not blooming yet and uh, in this bed i have um some mini roses that i planted yesterday along with the marigold um this variety called baby elizabeth and i just love the color and i got three shrubs from a local uh, garden center and they were on sale for only like three dollars here. It's super healthy looking rose. Um, as I know that miniature roses, they um, they can be um, uh, grow as tall as the regular roses. They could be um, as tall as like three or four feet. Um, but we'll see. Um, this hardiness, this one hardy to uh, in zone four or two. So that's why I got them and planted them in the ground here. I got some other mini roses too, but they don't really specific. Um, they don't really specify the hardiness of them, but I just assume they. Most, I know that most of the miniature roses, they, um, their hardiness down to zone five. And I got them in the pot. I've been, I keep them inside. I will bring them out, um, probably today. Um, because, uh, we passed the danger, um, I mean the low temp, the, uh, the freezing night, the freezing temperature at night. And um, um, I might plant them in the ground. 
um, in the fall. Uh, um, so that's it about this Saya the garden bed. And the daffodil got um, a lot of buds here that they are ready to open anytime soon. I planted like 200 bulbs in the fall um, on this side of the garden bed too. Yeah. So probably a few more days they will uh, bloom here. Yeah. Okay, here I have to open, I mean unwrap the um, container that I planted some flower a couple weeks ago when we got the heat wave that I thought it got, we got warm. So I planted them, um, but unfortunately we got the cold snap again and that's why I didn't cover in them. Um, I got some, I think I got that. Yeah, I got the video. Oh my God. I got some, so much damage of the, uh, the begonia. Anyway, um, uh, I, I got the video about this a couple weeks ago already. And I probably had to switch out some flower some ranunculus I have to switch them out with something else and this container this container okay Okay, here this container I planted a few days ago, but I cover them at night. Um, this one called Black, Black Pearl, Hokura, and I got some Dianthus, the coral one, and some Alizum and diamond frost salvia and i got verbena the white one and i got the um um petunia uh this one called latte latte petunia um hopefully they will spread more and traveling down the um, the container uh, same 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 as this one too the diamond frost okay here are the mini roses that I keep inside the basement over the winter and um, uh, this geranium I just bought for my son because he wants to plant his own uh, flower pot. So this is his flower pot. And uh, these mini roses, um, I got it from Trader Joe's over the winters. And um, uh, they, they am, am amazed that they doing very good. And actually, they are sending out their second flush here. Um, this coral pink second flush and this hot pink second flush as well and this one uh, is nothing blooming yet but they got buds and um, the second uh, flush so it is the same color as this one coral pink I have grown this uh, before uh, last year I has I, I got a video too that this one um uh it was doing really well in the summer and 
it died. I don't know why when I brought it inside the basement and it got aphid attack and I trimmed all the branches down and it just, the branches, the, the stems turn brown and it just died on me. So, and this is a new one I got from Trader Joe over the winter and um, I'm surprised it's doing good and it's sending out a second flush for me. And this one, this this is the um, from Jada Joe too, but I just got it last couple weeks. Yes, I think so, two or three weeks ago. And this is a cool, really cool color that I see for a mini rose. Normally, I just see that kind of pink or light pink or white or red, but not this color. Is this one more like orange red and it's I don't know when it just open it's kind of like this color red hop the camera picks it up but this kind of red and then and then it faded out to this orange pink uh, color and yeah this is a new bloom see and this is the old bloom old bloom so this is so pretty the temperatures um warm up now so they are ready to be outside okay